Good afternoon, Fest Flyers. My name is Caitlin, and welcome back to Festflix Fridays. Today is February 26, 2021, which happens to be National Pistachio Day. That's all for me, but here are Human Rights Videos 9, which is No Unfair Detainment, and 10, The Right to Trial. Anybody out there? This isn't right. Somebody <laughs> just tell me what I did, please. Can somebody just tell me? God, I should talk to somebody. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Next case, the People versus Martin White. Mr. White has been charged with- Guilty! Next case! But Geronic, you, you haven't heard the charges yet! Guilty! Next case! Go! Guilty! 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 I admit prison! Guilty! Next case! Fest Flyers, welcome back to turn to the Fest Flicks Brother Report with your Fest Flicks Brother Reporter, Celeste. This week has been full of some high winds and very sunny as well. This weekend seems to be very sunny but also windy outside with it being 59 degrees outside this Sunday and 54 degrees this Saturday. There will be no rain this week either with good air quality outside as well. Next week will also be very sunny outside so make sure to tune in for next week's weather report. I will see you guys next week with another weather report. Now on with Twilene. Thank you Celeste for that amazing weather report. Good morning Fest Flyers and welcome back to another sports report. To start off, let's talk about that NHL. The Go Vegas Golden Knights are still first in the West, which is incredible news. The next game we'll be playing is tomorrow at 7 p.m. against the Anaheim Ducks. There will be no in-person attendance, but no worries because the TV channels always have our backs. You can watch it on ATRM, FSSD, or PRIT. They will be playing at the Ducks' home, the Honda Center. What I do know is that tickets did go on sale on Wednesday to go to a game for season tickets holders. These games will be limited seated, so try to get your tickets if you do want to go as soon as possible. I am personally so excited to get back to that magical atmosphere in the arena. I love going to night's games. It's just like a magic feeling you get when you step inside the stadium. Even if the experience is just a little bit different. Now let's talk about the NBA. Today only there will be nine games. Now for all those NBA fans, please tell me how you watch all those games. The first game will be at 4 p.m. against the Pacers and the Celtics. The second game will be at 4.30 p.m. against the Raptors and the Rockets. We then have five games at 5 p.m. The Kings and the Pistons will be playing for the win. The Suns and the Bulls will be playing against each other. The Clippers and the Grizzlies will be fighting for the win. At the same time, the Jazz and the Heat will be playing against each other. Then the last game that will be at 5 p.m. will be the Hawks against the Thunder. The last two games of the day will be at 7 p.m. The Trailblazers and the Lakers will be competing. And the last game will be the Hornets against the Warriors. Now it's time for the strange sports segment. One of my favorite parts to do in the sports report. 
This week's strange sport is ferret leg. Now, if you're a Harry Potter fan, you are probably having some pretty funny flashbacks right now. So the objective of this game is to have a ferret in your leg as long as you can. So basically, they put a ferret in your leg and you just have to like hold it there and see how long you can last. It looks like the world record for this is five and a half hours. Could you ever do this? I know I couldn't. Now I am running out of strange sports, so if you know any cool ones or ones that are unknown and unique, just let me know. That's it for the sports report this week. As always, have an amazing Friday, and now on to Leah with Bob Five. Thank you, Mylene, for that amazing sports report. Hey, Flyers, and welcome back to another edition of Fab Five with Leah. This week, we have our very own Festflix producer and publications teacher, Mr. Wright. So let's get right into it. First is that he is married and has six kids, five boys and one girl. Second is that he was born in Hawaii, but has traveled all over the world because his father was in the army. Third is that he is the leader of a nonprofit organization called PB&J Leadership. Fourth is that his first year teaching was in 1996 and he taught preschool. And last but not least is that one of the most important things to him in life is music. Aside from teaching, he's been a professional DJ for 20 years and he currently works at Vegas Event Masters as his DJ and an MC. That's it for this week. Make sure to stay tuned each week to learn about your favorite celebrities inside and out of Fest. Now on to Ari with What's Up Fest. <laughs> Thank you, Leah. Hey, Fest Flyers. Welcome back to another amazing Festflix Friday. My name's Ari, and I'm here to tell you guys the top 10 best donut flavors. This is sure going to make me hungry. At number one, we have glazed donuts. We're all familiar with that one. At number two, we have chocolate glazed donut, my favorite. At number three, we have a Boston cream donut. Hmm, never heard of that one. At number four, we have a jelly donut. At number five, we have a maple glazed donut. At number six, we have a powdered donut. At number seven, we have a chocolate long john. At number eight, we have a cooler. Never heard of that one. At number nine, we have a double chocolate donut. Sounds delicious. And finally, at number 10, we have a sugar donut. All this donut talk sure made me crave one, and I'm sure it made you crave one too. Have a great week, Fest Flyers, and tell your parents to go buy you a donut. Now passing you to Mr. West. Hey there, Fest Flyers. It's your proud principal, Mr. West, with a few words of wisdom as we wrap up Amistad Week, right? The house of love and friendship. So that's what my words of wisdom are about today. Gospel singer Tremaine Hawkins first began singing in the church at the age of four. By 10, she had recorded her first record. As an adult, she became a Grammy Award winner. Miss Hawkins is very clear about one thing. She knows that her music is her special gift to the world. Listen to what she says about what's really important in life. How we love and respect one another, that's what's going to help us deal with the craziness and uncertainty in the world. Today, let's strive to show each other respect, encourage each other when it's needed, and say thank you where it's deserved. By just doing these simple things, we can help make our world a little less crazy and a little more secure. With something to think about, this is your proud principal, Mr. West. Let's make it a great day. Or not, the choice is yours.